Hey, how's it going, guys? It's me, Farmer Ross. Come over here, I'll kind of show you where it all started. And for a select few, the burn your face off. Welcome to Handmade and Homegrown. My name is Tanya. In today's episode, I'll introduce you to a group of gallery owners, an artist on our craft line, and two farmers. First up is Mena. She owns a gallery in the lower levels of Pike Place Market, where I'm standing right now. Come join me. My name is Mena Kalilu. I'm a local Seattle artist here. Uh, welcome to our gallery. This is an artist-run gallery here at Pike Place Market. This is some of my work here. Um, obviously, you can tell that I'm really inspired by nature, um, and a lot of my work is actually uh, inspired by the galaxy, specifically constellations. One of my favorite pieces that I did is actually Ursa Major. Um, it's Latin for Big Bear, and then I actually did Ursa Minor as well. So it's Big Bear and Little Bear. So it's not just animals and paintings, they're actually stories behind each piece. I have prints, I have originals, we've got stickers, we've got pillows, we've got uh, canvas prints. Um, I'm working on bandanas right now with my art on it. So these are my cute little fun geometric pillows that I created. Um, so they're actually travel pillows, uh, so you can actually attach them to your suitcases, to your bags. Um, they've got a little um, carabiner attached to it so it's nice and tight. Um, and they're double-sided and they're super colorful. Hi, I'm Mallory Milky, uh, AKA Mayhem here. Um, I'm one of the co-owners here at Gradient Art Gallery and this is some of my work here. Um, I obviously do a lot of animal work um, and I specialize or like to use a lot of crystals and minerals um, in my work too, so I incorporate both things. Um, here at Gradient, we actually make uh, the majority of our products. So we just got a brand new large format printer that we've been making these big canvas prints with. So you can come in and you can get a full size piece, even though maybe it's not an original, so a little more affordable. Um, we also make things over here, which we have like tote bags that are all made in house. Um, we do mugs and all sorts of like little things too with our art on them. So everything features our work. Um, and it's all being made here in Pike Place Market. Hi, I'm Robert Bellum, and I'm a local Seattle artist at Gradient Art Gallery. This is a series that I did um, earlier this year. Um, it was for a show that was in uh, Georgetown, but got canceled due to the pandemic. And this is a series of uh, paintings and stencils that I did based off of monsters. Um, I have God kids in my life now, and I really like creating stuff that's a little more whimsical. So that's where this guy was created. And then these were created based off of one singular stencil um, that I morphed into different characters. So besides three local artists running an art gallery here, we have a huge goal of actually hosting a lot of classes here in the studio, um, working with our community, working with other artists as well. We're in the process of actually uh, hosting a lot of artists here. We've got almost every single month um, pretty much set up for a, one artist to be featured every month. Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Farmer Ross from Urban Farm, and here's my Pike Place Market table. Let me show you what I got. So over here we have my hot honey sauce. This is gonna be my best, one of my best sellers at the table. We're using cayenne peppers that we grow here in Seattle and we're infusing it with local honey. Um, it's great on everything from uh, drizzling on vegetables. Uh, I like to put it on chicken. This is gonna be my favorite hot honey, the super hot honey. In this honey, we enhance the flavor by adding my Rude Boy Hot Pepper. The Rude Boy Hot Pepper is a pepper I started breeding a couple years ago, and I'm using Jamaican Red Scotch Bonnet and Carolina Reaper. So it has a nice fruity undertone to it, but it has a lot of kick from that Carolina Reaper. So I like this one a lot because you can taste the spice behind the honey. As far as new items go, Black Panther. This is brand new. This is new to the table today. So. The Black Panther, I was excited about this since uh, early last year, back in January. That's when I got the seeds and I started uh, dreaming up the idea of growing it. And this pepper, uh, this pepper is a hybrid and it's a mixture of the ghost pepper and uh, Central American native pepper, uh, the Pimenta de Nade. And it's, it's a pretty hot pepper. It has a nice smoky flavor to it naturally. And uh, as you can see, it's extra hot. And personally, it's a little too hot for me, but you know. And we also have a sea salt that goes with that. And for this sea salt, I chose a 
uh, black Hawaiian sea salt because that sea salt naturally has kind of like a uh, almost like a uh, charcoaly kind of ash flavor to it and you blend that with the smokiness of the ghost pepper that's mixed into the black panther excellent really 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 good on meats really great on meats the whiskey bonnet barbecue sauce is a collaboration i did with chef tracy at the atrium this is a hot item i can't even keep this on the shelves i can't keep it in stock online we can't keep it down here at the market we pretty much sell out of this as soon as it hits the table or as soon as it hits uh the website I gotta give it to Chef Tracy. She's a magician in the kitchen. And we're using my Scotch Bonnet peppers in this, and we're also using Uncle Nearest whiskey. So this whiskey bonnet barbecue sauce, get it now, get prepared for the springtime barbecue season. This is gonna be hot, definitely super hot. This year we started selling a lot of, or we're gonna be selling a lot of uh, more fresh items from the, from the farm, including some dried peppers, pepper seeds, pepper plants, some herb plants. Um, and in here we have kind of like an example of some of the peppers that I grow in my garden. And uh, I grow a lot of habanero, a lot of uh, scotch bonnet, and then I focus on hybrids. So different really special crosses. But I'd say this is my favorite, the white habanero. This is one of the hottest habaneros. My favorite item is gonna be the hot honey sauce either the regular or the super and i really like the rude boy sauce because i'm the rude boy and that's my sauce so i'm wearing exclusive gear from my farmer collection these are all items that i do sell on my website urbanfarm.com h-e-r-b-a-n farm.com now this is farm fashion let me introduce you to farm fashion so we have pants, we have jackets. This is the varsity jacket. Have different hoodies, have different hats. Plant daddy and then plant mama, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Plant mama is a hot seller too. There's a lot of plant mamas out there. Um, and yeah, so essentially what this is, is this is a way for me to get out my artistic expression and my creative, my creativeness. Um, I consider myself more of a farmist, so a farmer slash artist. And this is just how I express how I feel and what's going on in my, my head. Hi, and uh, my name is Wais. I'm an artist at the Pancreas Market. I uh, started on uh, 2015. I paint on canvas, then uh, I scan then a print, then a, I, I uh, make uh, the script print on uh, on uh, this washer and top back too. What is your most popular item on your table? And uh, people uh, they, they, they like like a like an a uh, sun uh, sun say you know the yeah some people uh, like uh, and uh, the giraffe you know. I, I paint and uh, and uh, a la last night and uh, this, this too. Last night? Yeah. What is your favorite painting that you do? All of it. Yeah. All of it? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so is uh, like this one. And uh, I paint on a on a can canvas. Then uh, I uh, this kind of then print. And then I make uh, the screen print on on a t uh, uh, on on a top bags. Then, like this one too, is a uh, is a uh, this one. And uh, I I work like on a on a four days. And a uh, and a. Uh, on a uh, Friday to m m Monday. That's my uh, website, Etsy shop, Wise Art. Welcome to the Grim Stand. I'm Antonio Love, and this is Grim Hot Sauce. Uh, we grow the three hottest peppers on earth, ghost, scorpion, 
and the Carolina Reaper. These three peppers we combined into culinary delights. We go from light to the hot and for a select few, the burn your face off. I love this hot salt. The salt is very popular on our stand. It is, well, made for Bloody Marys, but when you melt it in butter and put it on popcorn, it's outstanding. And I actually set it on fire in order to create it. The most popular blend is the Inferno sauce. This one is smoked for six hours in apple and cherry wood, the peppers are, and it's amazing on everything. The new sauce is the 206, a Chipotle and Serrano blend. Absolutely amazing. And our best seller on Amazon Prime is us honey mustard. You cannot beat it. But of course, my personal favorite is pyro. It is enough ghost scorpion and reaper to drop a horse. It's black truffles, chocolate from Costa Rica, and amazing black garlic. It is simply the best standard for those who have a culinary interest in instant spontaneous combustion. Uh, of course, when you have to burn up everyone in the room, except no substitutions, this is liquid death. It is 300 ghost peppers, 300 scorpions, and 400 Carolina reapers. I soak in grain alcohol and press the oil out by hand. My best story was right before we got into the market. We had a little exhibition out here on, in the new section of the market. And a gentleman from Canada walked up and he asked to try the hottest stuff we have. So I told him to be careful what he wished for. He of course said, no, give it to me. I want the hottest. So I gave him a handshake deal with the hot sauce man. This handshake deal means that once we shake hands, you take a drop, I take a drop, and we both burn for 20 minutes. I gave him about that much, the end of the dropper, and I took a drop, just like this. Woo! Of course, I'm used to it, but his nose immediately started to bleed after he took this drop. He, bleeding, I might add, pulled out his wallet and bleeding profusely all into his wallet, gave me $40 for one of these liquid deaths. And that was the first time I had to take blood money. Uh, <laughs> True story. <laughs> this is all we do. We grow it, we blend it, we bottle it, all in South Seattle. And we ship it everywhere because of GrimHotSauce.com and Amazon Prime. And that's all we do. All organic, all natural, non-GMO, hot for the hot.